Development Corporation. Mr. Jones Bay, would you come to the podium? Minister Dr. A.M.A. Muhi, Governor of Bangladesh Bank, Dr. Atiyur Rahman, Mr. Sajid Wazid, advisor to the Prime Minister. Because your presence here is a strong testimony to the tremendous commitment that the government of Bangladesh has to economic development. I also want to thank and commend the organizers of this summit. There were many, and they listed in the, in the program. I'd like to acknowledge two in particular. I'd like to thank uh, Ms. Joyce Moy for her work with the um, U.S. Bangladesh Partners U.S., her work in increasing trade, investment opportunities, and advancing economic development and cultural interests between the United States and Bangladesh. Also, I want to thank a good friend to the people of New York and myself. And that is Mr. Aziz Ahmad. He prides himself as being the uh, president and CEO of UTC Associates, uh, as being the leader of a uh, networking and software integration company. We see him as, as something much more, uh, more so than just providing innovative te technology solutions to, to the state of New York but also helping with integration and networking in terms of opportunities uh, here in the United States and abroad. I just want to thank him for, for his leadership. Thank you, Aziz. So this morning, we're joined here by a common purpose, and that is to foster mutual progress through trade and commerce. The history of, of the United States is marked by prosperity through innovation and commerce. The standard of living in this country would not have been made possible without innovation and commerce. And we feel that our best hope to emerge from this global recession is through commerce. And the state of New York is committed to these aims. At the New York State Empire State Development Corporation, which serves as our state's lead economic development agency, we recognize the vital role that trade and international business play. Empire State Development is committed to being recognized on a global scale as the economic development engine driving job growth, strategic investment, and prosperity in New York State. We are intent on paving the way for New York State to become the leader of the innovation economy and one of the most business-friendly, productive, and competitive economic development climates in the world. To that end, we have 17 locations around the globe. And of those 17, five of them are in the region that we're talking about today. We support the corporations that are here today seeking opportunities in Bangladesh. And I'm especially encouraged to see a willingness on the part of companies such as Microsoft, IBM, and others uh, that they've expressed the willingness to work with small minority women owned businesses uh, in, in the process. I did some research and I found that, um, it was just affirmed in the presentation before, that Bangladesh is one of the most exciting uh, areas for growth in, in, the, uh, in, in the near term. Goldman Sachs using macroeconomic stability, political maturity, openness of trade and investment policies, and the quality of education as criteria identified Bangladesh among 11 other other nations as having the highest potential for becoming uh, part of the, one of the world's largest economies in the 21st century. Now considering the fact that Bangladesh and its neighbors, China and India, uh, half the world's population are represented, we recognize that this is a very important region in the world. And we're inspired by the vision that's put forth by, by its leaders in the um, Digital Bangladesh uh, Initiative. 
the work that's been uh, done in the past couple of years has, has been inspiring. Just if you look at what happened in 2009 alone, over a billion dollars were invested in Bangladesh very based on favorable conditions in, in Bangladesh. And that is why today we have companies such as IBM, Microsoft, Booz Allen, SAP, Cisco, Delta Airlines, Moody's, Barclays, just, just to name a few. So, today we have, an, we have an opportunity to be part of uh, something very special, all of you that are, that are in this room. Through commerce and trade, we believe that uh, we can help to raise the standard of living in, in, this, in this region to improve the lives of hundreds of millions of people and obviously uh, enrich the, the partners that are part, part of this progress, the companies that, that are part of, part of the, this initiative. So we thank you for this invitation to, to partner with you today in this mutual uh, endeavor for pursuing progress through commerce and uh, just inspired by the, the sheer uh, intellectual capital and commitment that uh, is in this room, the people that are on this dais we present uh, represent the the, uh, the future for for global commerce and, and development in, 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 in the future. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for these remarks. I think you're getting the picture. The window of opportunity is short. That's that's a message I'm getting. I'm going to move a little bit faster. Now our next speaker is Mark Jaffe. Mark is the Executive Director of the Greater New York Chamber of Commerce and one of the partners of today's event. Mark. Thank you, uh, Joy. I want to thank all the organizers and everybody for coming. And I won't keep you long because I know we have a lot of speakers. But the opportunity for progress and commerce, as Michael Jones Bay had indicated is, is what makes our country, the United States, great. I mean, in our Constitution, we, we talk about the Commerce Clause. We regulate commerce for the benefit of our middle class, our working class. And it's good to see Bank Bangladesh bragging about their middle class because that is the future of this planet. We need to uh, regulate our commerce and make sure that our, our monies are in order so that we can uh, protect the planet protect the people living in it, and it's good to have partners in this very important region of the world come to our humble city, New York City, I, I thank you for that, and stay in one of our beautiful <laughs> member hotels and uh, support our economy to figure out ways we can do more business. I have one of our business members here, Mr. Klein, that uh, is trying to do more business. Stand up, uh, Mr. Klein. And he's trying to do more business in Bangladesh, he has offices there already, and uh, he's taking advantage of your ready-made apparel. So products are being made in Bangladesh, are being sold in the United States, and that's a beautiful thing. So let's uh, get on to hearing more about our, from our guest about uh, about why we can invest in this stable region, and we don't even have to fight to make a democracy there. It's there for us, and we look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. You can tell Mark is a New Yorker. Um, our next speaker is Mr. Savio Chan. Uh, Savio Chan is the president of the U.S. Pan Asian American Chamber of Commerce of the Northeast Chapter, of which Aziz Ahmad and I are both board members. Mr. Savio Chan. Well, thank you. I'll be 